Hi folks and welcome to the first of my first look videos at the various series of FM21 games that are going to be coming out starting today. Today is FM21 launch day. The full game is out on PC. You've already seen a lot of that here on the channel. That's not what we're looking at in this video. In this video, we're focusing on FM21 Mobile. I'm also going to be doing videos on FM21 Touch when that comes out next week. The Xbox version, the Switch version, the Stadia version, if we get Stadia this year, they're all going to be coming out on the channel as soon as those games drop. So if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on those videos and of course if this is the kind of thing that's right up your street leave a thumbs up let me know you'd like to see more of this kind of content on the channel if we get a whole heap of thumbs ups i might even be persuaded that this year is a year to do an fm mobile series on the channel which people have been trying to persuade me to do for a little while and i'd never quite take the plunge on it maybe this is the year who knows but without further ado let's jump into the game and have a look around FM21 Mobile. And here we have the beautiful new start screen. Just for context, we are playing this on uh, my iPhone. This is, it's not the most recent iPhone. It's the one before that, the big one though. Um, I'm playing on iPhone because the iOS version dropped before the Android version. Um, I imagine it's going to be the same game on Android. If it's drastically different when I get the Android one downloaded, I'll obviously add a little bit of an update into the video so that you know, but I think it's safe to assume they're going to be very similar. Based on the graphical performance of my phone, we're playing on advanced mode as well. Um, we've got various, I mean, we're not that interested in the achievements. It's still got the link to FMDB down the bottom there as well. But what we're all looking for is, uh, is what's new. And there are a few bits that are new in the game this year, particularly, I know they've added new leagues. Um, they've also added in changes to tactics, changes to dynamics. They've introduced the dynamic section. Uh, dy the dynamic stuff from the main game is now an FM mobile. Um, and also some changes to the player interaction stuff as well within the game. Um, I always like to have a little look in the store, partly because it gives me an achievement, and I always like an achievement. And just to see, we have still got the microtransaction in. I'm never going to be in support of this stuff. I do accept that it's the way mobile gaming is. And um, the game itself is $8.99. I don't remember seeing an editor in there before. I don't know if that's a new feature for this year, but for another $8.99, you can actually um, get an in-game editor for it, which I don't remember seeing in last year's game, unless I just missed it, because I basically just look in the store on launch day and then never again. And it looks like you can get everything for $14.99. So the editor, the sugar daddy stuff, all that kind of stuff. But I ain't doing any of that. I've already given them my $8.99 for the game, and we're here to play the game Um I'm supposed to be going to bed. And as ever, there's three different modes that you can play the game on. So you can just do the normal career. You can do one of the challenge modes, um, which in the past, some of these have been DLC. I don't know if they still are. Um, yeah, some of them are DLC. I think you can unlock them in the game. Um, but if you just want to get straight into some of these challenge modes, um, you can pay 99p to update, to unlock any of them. Um, or you can do a creator club, which I think was added to the game last year, but we're just going to do... A normal career, um, if we just hit confirm and pop my details in, that is not how you spell my name. I don't type on a phone very often. I'm old. That's okay, I think. Um, I'm male. Um, we're going to start in England. Like I say, there are some new leagues loaded. If I just check um, the stuff that was on the SI website, I can tell you which leagues have been loaded. Um, it is Argentina, Mexico, and Canada are the new leagues that haven't been in the game previously. Um, so if you've been desperate to play one of those leagues, they are now in the game. But we're just going to start in England so that I can be my beloved Peterborough United. Um, we can do the enhanced match engine because it checked my phone beforehand and says that will work. You don't need to fiddle around with any of this other stuff. We're not going to turn any of the, the cheats and whatnot on. We're just going to hit confirm. We want to see what the game is like when we get into it. So we want to get, oh, there you go, it confirms there which are the new leagues on this screen. So we want to have just England loaded for now. That runs nice and quickly. It's getting the game set up. We want to be in League One. And we are going to choose Peterborough United, the team that I'm currently managing in my save over on Twitch. So if you want to see me managing Posh on the full game, twitch.tv slash Lelujo. I'm streaming most nights at the moment. You can come and check that out over there. Um, there's a confirmation that I have been appointed as the new manager. And we're in. And initially, I mean, it looks a lot like the previous year's games it's given me an age of 50 did i set that it's hideous um just 
having to jump through all the expectation stuff. This is all fairly standard stuff. What I'm interested in seeing is the new stuff. So if we jump into tactics, first of all, which I guess is going to be in here, um, we have an induction um, and it tells us about how the new tactical system works. So now you pick your tactical style, your formation and your player roles. So it's not quite the way it works in the full version of the game, but they've taken some of the ideas out of the full game and brought them into mobile. So you can now select a tactical style similar to what we have on the full game. And um, so they look like they are the same categories, actually. So if we've learned anything from FM20 and FM19, that Gagan Press is always a good way to go. And that's actually the style that's recommended by our assistant manager. It gives you a little idea on that left-hand side what each of those um, tactical systems does as well. So you can decide for yourself what you want to be doing. Um, I like the way it's got the little thing that goes from proactive to reactive. I don't think that's on the PC version. It's quite interesting to have that visually represented. And then from in there, we're going to pick our actual formation that we're going to use. Again, it's got some of these recommended to us. Um, I want to do none of these. I want to do a 4 2 3 one because that's the system I've been playing with this squad over on Twitch. And from there, it's going to recommend um, how we play this team. So within there, we can then change the player roles. So... I don't know if we've got the full selection of player roles that we get on the full version. We do. So we can put an inverted winger on that right hand side, which we weren't able to do before, I don't think. Um, so I said this isn't exactly like it is on the PC, but actually a lot of this is very similar to what we've got on the PC. Um, it doesn't look like it's been scaled back massively. We can't like put a deep line playmaker on a defensive instruction in there. So it still has a few limitations um, compared to what we yet. Uh, compared to what we have on the on the full PC version, but actually not as many as you would think. Uh, and I'm basically setting this up as close as I can get it to the system that I use with this squad of players on my save in the full game, really to see how it compares. So that is pretty much how we line up as best as we can represent it in FM Mobile. Um, we can mess around with some of the shape stuff, which is very familiar to anyone who played older versions of Football Manager years ago. This stuff hasn't changed massively year over year, which is good because this is all very familiar FM mobile stuff. So we're going to leave a lot of this as is, I think, um, because the next thing that I want to go and explore is Dynamics. Now, where is Dynamics going to live, do we think? Um, dynamics, it must be in the club. Um, team report, no, first team, maybe it happens dynamically, who knows, it must be, it must be something we can find in here, team report, um, so, ah, there you go, dynamics is in here, so we can get our suggested 11, but then dynamics, so again, this is something that's been in the full game for a year or two now, and has now been introduced into FM Mobile in a scaled down FM Mobile kind of style, um, so we can... We get a rating for our squad for professionalism, work rate, determination, morale, and loyalty. Um, so everything looks pretty positive on there at the moment. We've got the social groups that we have in the full game as well. So you can see who's friends with who. And you can also see who your team leaders are. We have none. We have no team leaders. And we've got four players who, in fact, 12 players who are influential. I guess those four are the most influential. You can see that for the licensed teams... And you get the little player pictures and stuff in there as well and the proper logos, which I think, again, have been in the game for a little while for the licensed teams, but it is always cool to check in and see. Just scanning through the list of stuff on the website as well, just to see if I've missed out any more of the new stuff. Um, apparently there's improved player interaction. Um, so can we interact with Siriki Dembele? Let's go to actions. What can we do? We can talk to the player. And yeah, you know what? This is new for FM Mobile. This is much more detail on the man management side of things. And anybody who has played um, a lot of the PC version will know just how important morale can be once dynamics and player interaction and stuff comes into the game. So that's going to be interesting to see how much weight that has in FM Mobile. I think that's quite cool that that's in there now. And um, you can also now add feeder clubs, which you weren't able to do previously. So I'm not sure where we do that if we... If we, I guess if we go to board request, we can presumably request a, fee, a feeder club. Yeah, acquire affiliate. So let's ask for a feeder club because we were never able to do it on FM Mobile before. Um, there's more news and media stuff that you'll see as the game is played. And also something that's been asked for for a long time 
on the mobile version is you can actually customize your own preseason now and set up your own friendlies, which again, the friendlies were just done to you in the past almost. But now, if we want a friendly with Chelsea, I mean, we need to make sure they're available. But let's try and confirm that. And it looks like that's just booked straight in. I don't think we even have to wait for them to give us permission, which is, I mean, quite frankly, lovely. Right, we're going to hit continue and we want to just see how the match engine looks. Looking at the headline new features, it doesn't look like um, changes to the match engine have been a, a massively significant thing this year. So I wouldn't expect them to have been pulling up any trees with the, the match engine change. It's probably going to be fairly similar, um, but we'll just need to tweak this team around a little bit because it's got players in the wrong positions, which is a little bit odd. Um, we've got a left back knocking around. Let's get... Where's Dan Butler, who we use a lot in our uh, in our stream team, but I can't actually see him. Oh, because he's in the wrong position. Let's just... Uh, we're continuing to shuffle around. I think we have actually got the right 11 in, pretty much. But they're just in the wrong positions. There you go. That, that looks like a team that we can use. If we hit continue, let's see how FM21 Mobile looks. We're playing a friendly... Against Blythe Spartans, there's your teams announced. And uh, let's get into it and see what the game looks like. So you've got the uh, the top-down 2D view that's going to be very familiar to anybody who played um, any of the... I mean, even, there's still people who played a full game on this view now. I mean, I haven't for a number of years because 3D looks pretty cool these days. But I know for a lot of people, they'll see this 2D overhead view and get quite nostalgic for it from the uh, older versions of the full game. And... I know I'm playing it on a quite a large, quite good phone. It looks so much nicer than uh, it has any right to look on a mobile phone. It looks as good as it was looking on the PC just a few years ago, which is, it's a remarkable achievement. I've got, I've got to make sure I don't go too far into old man mode and reminiscing and talking about how fascinating it is, how good computers are getting. But it does look really rather nice. And um, we're at half time. It gave us a little bit of feedback on how our players were doing there as well and um, the thing i've always liked a lot about fm mobile is just how quickly you can get through matches and get through seasons if you're on a long train journey you can knock through a season on a long train journey which has always been a big attraction of the game just have it in your pocket pull it out play a little bit of it and you get that little quick hit of football manager experience and with the new ground with the new tactics and the new dynamic stuff included they're two of the big headline features that have been added into the main game in recent years so it's it's some quite significant stuff that they've put into the game. So it's to me, it looks like it, we've had a very good year for steps forward in FM21. And it looks to me like FM21 Mobile has also stepped forward massively. I am impressed with the, what, 10, 15 minutes or so that I've, uh, that I've had to play around with the game for the purposes of this first look. But that is it for the first look at FM21 Mobile. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. It's given you a little bit of a taste of what there is in FM21 for you this year. And um, if you've got any questions, feel free to hit me up with those down in the comments section below or use that section to let me know your thoughts on the game once you've spent a little bit more time in it. And like I said at the start, if this video does well, if we get lots of likes, if lots of people are asking for it, who knows? We might even do an FM mobile series before the year is done. And if you have enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. My big series, Non-League to Legend, starts on the channel later on today. So make sure you check that out. Thank you very much for watching.